so we're putting the cupcake liners into the cupcake pans. I am putting a little more cupcake liners than needed, but just in case this batter makes more than 16, we're okay. We have a really thick brownie batter because it's Ghirardelli, so their brownie batter tends to be really thick, and it, that's what makes the brownie chewy. And right now I am putting a scoop of chocolate brownie mix into each cupcake liner, one scoop per cupcake. We're going to do that until... So these are the chocolate molds I bought from my baking store. It, they are gift ones and snowflake ones, 12 per mold. And then now I am putting white chocolate, melted white chocolate into the molds. Um, the trick is having special melting chocolate and you have to put it in the Ziploc bag as a piping bag. And when you put the chocolate in the microwave in the Ziploc bag, you have to microwave it every 30 seconds until it's all melted and then you just snip off the end and you have yourself a chocolate piping bag and it's really inexpensive and it really does work it works perfectly when you put them in the mold as you can see it looks creamy silky and it's easy to squish out of the ziploc because this chocolate is the one you're supposed to use. I, I don't prefer the chocolate you see at Walmart or Target. I suggest you go to a baking store or get these chocolate appeals. I will put their name in the description box below. So you can have an easier time making chocolate in a mold because there this chocolate oil base so it's easier to push out rather than a milk chocolate base so right now I'm almost done with this and then I'm gonna fix up the edges and then I'm going to shake this to make the chocolate mold uniform and make sure every crease is filled in Now we simply add some mini marshmallows on top. Five minutes before the brownies are done so they can puff up and stick to the brownie and not fall off. And we're gonna bake them a little bit so they could get a little toasty. So it tastes a lot like s'mores kind of slash hot chocolate. And we wanna do that to every single cupcake in this pan. Look at how puffy these are. That's what how that's right when I'm about to take them out of the oven. Lastly, we're going to put the chocolate drizzle on top. This is the same type of chocolate you you used in the candy molds, but this time you're using dark chocolate as a glue for the candy decoration you're going to put on top which were the gift and snowflake chocolates and this drizzle acts as a glue and decoration to the cupcakes this looks like what a real hot chocolate would look like you would have chocolate on top of your hot chocolate and marshmallows well that's what I do but here I'm almost done with all the drizzling and my candy molds are waiting on the side. I put the candy molds in the fridge so they would harden quicker because they do take a while to harden. So there's my candy molds. You just have to like wiggle them out, like not too hard, but they will easily come out because they are oil based. So that's what I'm doing right now, just shaking it a little bit to make sure they come out. 
and then you just add them on top of each cupcake and you have a really pretty hot chocolate brownie this is great for Christmas and the holidays